He is Edward Edmundsvinsky, born January 17, 1937. You will probably say, who is Edmundsvinsky? He is a former Democrat congressman who represented the Iowa 1st Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives for two terms from 1973 to 1977. He sat on the House Judiciary Committee that decided the fate of Richard Nixon. He was outspoken, saying that Nixon was a crook and a disgrace to politics and the nation, and should be impeached. He and the Clintons were friends and very politically intertwined for many years. Edmundsvinsky had an affair with NBC News reporter Marjorie Sumargolas and later married her after his wife divorced him. In 1993, Marjorie Margolis Medzvinsky, then a freshman Democrat in Congress, cast the deciding vote that got President Bill Clinton's controversial tax package through the House of Representatives. In March 2001, Medzvinsky was indicted and later pleaded guilty to 31 of 69 counts of bank fraud, mail fraud, and wire fraud. Medzvinsky embezzled more than $10 million from people via both the Ponzi scheme and the notorious Nigerian email scams. He was found guilty and sentenced to 18 months in federal prison. After serving less than five years in federal prison, he was released in April 2008 and remains on federal probation. To this day, he still owes $9.4 million in restitution to his victims. About now you are saying, so what? Well, this is Mark and Chelsea Medzvinsky. That's right, Ed Medzvinsky is Chelsea Clinton's father-in-law, now Mark and Chelsea are in their early 30s and purchased a $10.5 million NYC apartment. Has anyone heard mention of any of this in any of the media? If this guy was Jenna or Barbara Bush's, or better yet, Sarah Palin's daughter's father-in-law, the news would be an everyday headline, and every detail would be reported over and over. And yet, liberals say there are no double standards in politics and reporting, and people are already talking about Hillary as our next president. Lying and corruption seem to make Democrat candidates more popular. Thomas Jefferson once said, when the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty.